Up to this point in the module, we've examined some systematic approaches to consider when answering quantitative comparison questions. In this lesson, we'll examine a strategy that can sometimes be the fastest and easiest approach. We'll call it the number sense approach. To set things up, please consider the following question. In fact, you may wish to pause the video now and try answering it before continuing. Okay, one option here is to plug in values for x. But as we discussed in a previous lesson, this approach has some limitations. The biggest drawback is that without two contradictory results, you cannot be certain of the correct answer. Another option here is to perform matching operations on both quantities with the goal of simplifying the quantities so that they're easier to compare. Let's try that. Remember that we can use any combination of these acceptable operations. So to begin, let's get rid of the fractions by multiplying both quantities by 10. Now if you're uncertain why we should multiply both quantities by 10 here, don't worry. We'll cover that concept later on in the Algebra and Equation Solving module. For the time being, just know that multiplying both quantities by 10 will successfully eliminate the fractions as follows. From here, let's try to get the variables on one side and the non-variables on the other side. To do this, we can add 5x to both quantities to get this. Then we can add 12 to both quantities to get this. And finally, if we divide both quantities by 9, we're left with an x in quantity a, and in quantity b, we're left with 22 over 9, which we can rewrite as 2 and 4 ninths. So which quantity is bigger here? Well, since we're told that x is greater than 3, we can be certain that x is greater than 2 and 4 ninths which means the correct answer here is A. Now while this approach allowed us to arrive at the correct answer, we could have solved this question in a matter of seconds had we used a bit of number sense. First notice that in the numerator of quantity A we have 2x minus 6. Now since we're told that x is greater than 3, we know that 2 times x must be greater than 6. And if 2 times x is greater than 6, then it must be the case that 2x minus 6 is a positive number. As you'll soon see, we don't need to be any more precise than this. Now let's move over to the numerator in quantity b. Here we can see that if x is greater than 3, then 2 minus x must be equal to some negative value. From here we can see that in quantity a we have a positive number divided by 5, which will always be positive. And in quantity b, we have a negative number divided by a positive number, which will always be negative. Now since a positive number is always greater than a negative number, the answer here is a. So as you can see, by applying a bit of number sense, we can sometimes arrive at the answer in a matter of seconds. Alright, let's try another one. Try pausing the video and see if you can solve this one in your head. Okay, to answer this question, I'm going to apply a technique I like to call the something method. You will see more of this technique later on in the Algebra and Equation Solving module. Here's how the technique works. First, notice that in the given equation, we see that 24y divided by this is equal to 6. Now, if we totally block out the denominator here, we can see that we have 24y divided by something equals 6. Well, if 24y divided by something equals 6, then that something must equal 4y. In other words, the denominator, 5y minus x, must equal 4y. So we can take the denominator and set it equal to 4y. At this point, notice that we have 5y minus something equals 4y. Well, if 5y minus something equals 4y, then that something must equal y. In other words, x here must equal y. Now that we've shown that x equals y, we can see that quantity a and quantity b must be equal, which means the correct answer here is c. Okay, that concludes this lesson. Let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned that some quantitative comparison questions can be solved quickly by applying a little bit of number sense. 